kept saying, no, go high. So I said, okay, so we'll just go up and up. We'll go up through Carson City and then come over into Nevada. Or Carson City is Nevada, but come up through Nevada, the top half, instead of going through California. And I was pretty disappointed because I really wanted to see those two. We've been to Death Valley a few years ago, but we missed so much. And this would have been the perfect opportunity to be able to go when it's, you know, it's not extremely hot, but we can still check out all the stuff we missed without feeling time constrained. Or even just a lot of people being there because it's not like the height of the season. True. And the night sky. That too. I love astrophotography. So, um, anyways, and so I said, okay, we'll just go high. The gas will be cheaper because it was ridiculous in California. And we get up here, and last night we stopped for the night. And the lady in the store, I asked her, I said, well, how far is Death Valley for you? Because I've seen all these signs like Death Valley National Park Street ahead. We can make a left and end up in Death Valley. And she's like, oh, Death Valley's closed. And I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, all the roads are washed out because of the hurricane <clears throat> that swept through California that came up through San Diego. And then it went, kind of did some bad things to Joshua Tree. And it, and then she's like, look. And she pulled out this clipboard that had these pictures. And the pictures showed these gaping holes in the road. Like, you couldn't even get into Death Valley. Like, as soon as you get close, they turn you away. And there's chunks of the road missing where they have completely just closed it out I think she said for the rest of the, the year so it's not they gotta fix it so all roads leading into it and in Death Valley were gone like just chunks of it missing so I'm like oh my goodness praise the Lord you know Holy Spirit tells us don't go that way don't go that way even though I really wanted to go that way then this morning we're pumping gas because we're getting ready to leave and the guy, this random guy starts talking to me. He was like, you need gas when you're in the desert. I'm like, yeah, you sure do. Because if you have never traveled through the desert, it is a real, it's a real thing, right? Like you can get in the desert and there will not be another gas station for like 150 miles. So you definitely have to like fill up whether you want to or not, top off, whatever, because you get on that road and you can be the only one out there for a very long time and there could be no gas station like we saw several signs was like hey like last year's gas next town with gas 100 miles so i'm gonna ask the center do we have enough gas do we, do we need to turn around and he's like yeah we're good but anyway the guy comes over and he's like hey i just tried to go to yosemite and all the roads are closed you can't even like take the major road going and I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, you know, because of that, that storm. So the two places that we wanted to visit and that we were going to go and visit, how about we couldn't even get there if we wanted to? And I know that a lot of people that watch the videos and stuff are not religious people, but I am. And so I have to think that yesterday, that was the Holy Spirit stopping me from going because I keep telling you, I would put on the directions to go that way and then look back at it and it, it like it, it rerouted itself. Like I'm like, this is not the way I wanted to go. Finally, I just gave in. It was like, okay, well, we'll just go this route. And we would have wasted so much gas and so much time going that way and climbing those mountains that we would have had to turn around and find an alternate route that would have took us somewhere different. And I am so grateful for that because just getting from Lake Tahoe to almost Nevada was $300 in gas. And that's with gas being at its cheapest at like $4.98. It, it's been crazy. Everybody keeps telling me back home, oh, it's like three something here. I'm like, oh, great, you know, whatever. So, yeah, so I just want to tell you guys, these are like the road challenges. And remember before I told you, before we left Ely, I'm not Ely, oh my goodness, before we left Cascade Locks, was that we were going to try to travel as frugal as possible to show you guys that you can do it. So, so far, we've only had to pay for a place to stay twice which is really good. The majority of our budget went to the car repairs and gas. But we were able to stay at Blue Hearn and that was free. After that, we stayed 
have to look down there. He's sitting on the floor looking up at me, wanting to know, am I, are you awake? He was just bored. So now he's tuckered out because he's been up all night long, messing around. So I should be just rattling his cage and saying, are you awake, girl? Are you awake? Shake it up. But we won't do it like that. We'll let him sleep. And I think, you know, he's used to a routine, too, in his defense. You know, usually when we get to a spot, some ground up under us because we know that eventually we need to be heading towards our destination and so we figure okay we'll just make today a long yesterday a long day try to get some traction under our feet get at least close so once we hit nevada you know then you got utah then you got you know arizona all those places and they're not real big places to cross and we'll see some beautiful views and hopefully some ghost towns because i'd love to see that and take some pictures and so on and so forth to see what there is to see so we want to thank you guys for hanging in there with us showing us such love and support and being a part of our rv journey um we're going to end this video and we hope that you will continue to be a loyal follower hit that notification bell so whenever we put videos up you'll get a notification and if you're new to this channel thank you so much for dropping by and make sure you subscribe because we appreciate all your subscriptions right all of all of those that follow us and all your comments all your likes all your shares all your support if you like to get in contact with us go under my about my email's there and it's also in the bottom in the description of this video so thank you for watching uh i'll give you a little bit of the view of what we're looking at and that's how we'll end this video